Hey everyone, it's Mike, Rocky Ridge. Finally back, finally making a, another video. It's been uh, maybe two or three weeks, probably three weeks. And um, what I have here is um, it's about 62 miles. And this is the actual release site of the first race for, uh, for the 2023 Young Bird season. following the channel I had um, I had gotten 27 uh, birds from Mike McKinney uh, that passed away from his loft and um, lost half of them uh, it was very hard to to get them uh, rehomed <clears throat> to my place even though I went painfully slow uh, with the birds um, but they have 13 left from his and then the rest are mine and um, we have done this toss once before. They were around 1,200 yards per minute because it's, it's really not a long distance and they kind of like to fool around and, and fly everywhere. But it's, it's good and windy today. I don't know, I'm guessing, you know, at least eight or 10 mile an hour winds and um, I'm not sure which way they're blowing. But my daughter is back at the house and she's going to uh, set the clock as soon as I release them. and. They all have their chips on their legs now. Um, when I did this uh, toss, th uh, what, three days ago, they, I lost one bird. Yeah, I think it probably got hit by a hawk because it was a, a different color than the rest. Uh, these are the pros right here. And I got this little, uh, this little crate from uh, Chuck O'Shaban. His, uh, his father is the one that uh, developed the O'Shaban Trentons from 1938. He developed them. It's a great American long distance pigeon. And I also have uh, seven breeding pair from him. I'm going to keep that, that strain of pigeon pure. And I'll show those birds later on. We'll talk about them a little bit more. but ready to release these guys they've been they've been for a long ride it's, it's over an hour and a half drive to get here Now they're they're most definitely going to beat me home. Uh, if they don't, it's got something to do with this wind. All right, catch you later. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half, and uh, I'm back home. There's no sign of any any pigeons, but you can see the wind. Uh, it's it's uh, about a 12 mile an hour headwind. It's very gusty. So, yeah, today is going to be a real good training. They're not, I know that they haven't experienced uh, this before, and it's kind of a long distance for them to experience it for the first time, but it is what it is. But we're just going to have to hang in there and see what happens. Nobody in the loft except for uh, three old hens that I uh, keep in here to drive the young bucks crazy. That seems to work pretty well. Some fake eggs here that Gabby's, Gabby Cock has been sitting on. And so I'm sure that he really wants to get back today as fast as he can. Uh, might be a good time to show some of those um, Oshaban Trentons. So let's take a look at those. So in here, I have some, some all the cock birds, all the Oshaban Trentons, and actually they're right up front here. There's a, this dark one, this one here, the one behind them. They're, uh, they're 
fresh out of the molt and they're starting to look really sharp. There's another one right there, right at the doorway. Uh, that, that, one, that one's right there also. It's kind of nice, they're all, they're all, a lot of them are right up front here. That's one right there. Beautiful birds, stunning color. Look, look at that bird. I'm just really glad to have them. I'll show some of the hens. I put all the hens in with the young birds. So over here, I set up a loft with an old dog kennel. And um, these are all young birds that are going through the molt right now, most of them, but they're, uh, they're all for sale except for the Trentons. So let me point out a few of the, uh, a few of the Trentons. So you got that one right there, that hen, that red one right there. The other red one behind it. There's a beautiful yellow right at the end, right there. Beautiful yellow. And there's a real dark one. That, oh, right there. Right, right in front of me. And uh, Mr. Oshaban said I need, I need to keep that one around for feather quality purposes. A lot of high quality pedigree stock. And now uh, they seem to really like it. We got a, little, a lot of room to move around. Just can't get enough of that yellow Trenton right there. The, uh, the Trentons are very, very slow maturing bird. So they don't usually do uh, terribly well on their first year racing. But after that, um, if, if you know if you can keep them around from what I heard they're uh, they do great as old birds but we'll test it out we'll find out that's another one of his right there almost looks like a muleman but if you hold these birds there you could you could have your eyes shut they all feel identical they all have the deep keel bone they all have the Exact same colored eyes. They all have the same wing, same body shape, everything. And they're all they're all inbred. So all these qualities, when you breed them, you're going to get the same thing back out every time. And um, it's kind of a kind of an interesting thing. You don't see that too much with uh, racing pigeons. Hey, that beauty. It, it could be a cockbird. You just don't know because of uh, they're so slow slow to mature. And there's another one right there. But anyway, um, I think it's kind of special to have those and I'm going to do the best I can with them. It's like race day, watching the birds return. I already got uh, 33 back and it must have been when I was showing the Trentons because came out and uh, they were all inside but uh, that's a that's one of Jack's rubelas that's a Rocky Ridge white and uh, I'm not sure of the other one because it's a blue check they're not used to um, to that timing pad and they're not used to that uh, pigeon trap up there so they're uh, that, those two there hesitating to come to the loft. <laughs> I should have uh, set up the the timing pad. Uh, they call it the antenna. I should have set that up uh, a few weeks ago, but this is only the third time they're seeing it. But they'll be fine. When they come home from a race, they're going to be tired. They're not going to care about that. So I'm only, only missing two. Well, you can see a lot of them took it rough. That's a very young Huskin Van Reel right there with the pied. And uh, 
What a trooper. What a trooper that young guy is. A lot of my young birds are doing really well, like that cock bird, that, that red one. Uh, the first 62 mile toss, it came home uh, many hours later, but it came home all by itself. So it learned a lot that day. I think it learned to stay with the others because it came home today. There's the Gabby, he's back on his nest. Yeah, they look like they're really, really beat up. That wind took a lot out of them. 19, 13 yards per minute. So, you know that was a serious wind. This is about an hour later, and we got one more straggler here. And uh, he's going to want to get inside pretty quick because I've already got the others eating. I'll see what number it is when it scans in and I'll separate it, make sure it gets fed very well. <laughs> that one also is very young. It, um, <laughs> it's inbred from father to daughter. And the only reason I did that was for color purposes. It was supposed to be a yellow bar. <laughs> and obviously uh, it's not a yellow bar, so I didn't really know what to do with it. So I stuck it on the team. I was drinking right there. You know, maybe missing one or two, but I'm sure they'll be back. It was a tough day. Tough day for the birds. So um, the race is the day after tomorrow. So tomorrow they're going to have a day off and uh, they'll be nice and strong for Sunday morning. All right, guys. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.